you know, I'm hot. So let's take a swim. You gotta see this pool. Mm, I can't wait. Let's jump in. Don't that look so refreshing? Oh yeah. Not. Nah, you can swim with the frogs. Grib it, grib it. And then I have What's up, it's Wild Bill, the Night Owl, with another video. Before I start this video, I want to shout somebody out, okay, and help this person. The channel name is CL Slots 6 okay? She's got 685 subscribers. Now, the only thing is, She's trying to reach her goal, and she's working so hard for it. If you guys could subscribe to her, she's a lot of fun. She really is. I mean, she does slots. She does scratch-offs, stuff like that. And it is. It's fun to watch. Plus, when you get to know a person, you just love watching you know, their content. I mean so yeah that's her goal she's got i think she said a month and a half maybe two months left to uh reach her goal to uh get monetized to a thousand subscribers so let's bring her up there because she really is a nice nice person i'll tell you what if you subscribe to her she will subscribe to you she's very loyal she, you know she watches all my videos yeah definitely check her out in fact the link will be down in the description okay i want to shout out bowman's homestead he is so close to 1k subscribe to him it, it'll be down in the description yeah he's got all kinds of stuff tree uh cutting mowing uh, fishing oh you name it he's got it uh, his name is Gavin real cool dude real cool dude so uh, yeah go over there and uh, he's he's trying to get monetized too and get up to 1k and he's working hard you know same with CL slots she's working hard too they're both working hard and I really want to see them get monetized now last video I mentioned I got something that's used okay it was given to me I will tell you why it was given to me but you want to see it first let's do it I can never say this right. <laughs> it's a Husqvarna. All right. LTH 185.38. Now, it's a it's a 540cc. Okay. With the Briggs and Stratton. I 
I'll tell you what, the gas tank, now I'm not gonna say pretty gas tank again. So, well, I just said it. But anyway, the gas tank is right in the front. To me, it holds pretty much a lot of gas. But then I'm not doing 50 some thousand acres. Here is the deck height. All right, now this, you know, to go forward and then neutral and then backwards, okay? Plus, you got your lovely cup holder. The guy that gave it to me, he made, which is a good idea, he made a thing that you could put here, go up to here, to here. So this stays up. So that's if you load it on a truck or you put it in your shed and the flap doesn't get messed up. As you can tell, he did a, it's been very well taken care of. It is a 38 inch deck. Yeah, it's small, but well, you know, it's free. It's free. And I'll tell you why. Got your oil right here, okay? You know what? I really like this. I think this is cool. It, the paint, it looks almost brand new the guy had it for about eight years but anyway this right here this lever when you pull it all the way over that releases the blades i'm gonna have to get a new tire i'm in the way here see how bold that is the other tires look pretty good And the weird thing is, it's always this side. Same with my Cub Cadet. Here's your choke, okay? Goes to the rabbit, to the turtle, okay? Here's your, here's your parking brake. Now, to keep it locked, you gotta push on this. And then you gotta pull up on that, release it. And I'll tell you what. There's the battery. I wish they had, instead of this and this, the springs. I don't know if you can somehow get it to where when you're riding it, it doesn't hurt your back. But yeah, I really like the cup holder. I mean, that's the best feature. No, I'm kidding. The thing that I like about it is, and, and I have to get used to this because my Cub Cadet, the pedals would be over here, okay? You would have your <clears throat> your gas, your reverse, and your brake, okay? All on that side. But this one is totally different. I have to get used to, you know, the going like that. Honestly, it's a nice looking little tractor. It does the job. You know, I really like it. Oh. It's got headlights, too. I mean, really. Who uses headlights? Who cuts at night? I don't know. I'll have to try one day. So, yeah. So, that's the tractor. It's even got a 
fuel shut off right here. Here's the oil filter, which is very easy to get to. And then your air filter's in here. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Want to see how she sounds? Let's go for it. Sounds pretty darn good for me. I have to laugh <laughs> because my buddy that lives here, I cut his grass. All right, now he was a customer, but we became you know good friends. So he says, "Hey Bill, you gotta check out my new blower." I'm like, "All right." He pulls it out, and guess what? The BG50. Same as mine. Alright. I'm hooked on Tang. Love this drink. So the story about this uh, Husqvarna uh, tractor is the guy that pays me, which is his brother-in-law, is, is down there that I cut. Now, you'll see it in action tomorrow, because I'll make a video of me cutting that little lawn. What happened was, the guy told me, yeah, I've had this for eight years, or six years, I can't remember. I think it's eight. But... Something about the transmission is going bad on it. They don't make a part that he needs or something like that. I don't know. I mean, he don't work on them. Uh, so I guess this, some guy told him that. I don't know. Honestly, when I use it, it don't seem like that there's anything wrong with the transmission. I mean, there might be, but... That thing, it works good. You know, it climbs hills. Yeah, it's residential. So is my cub, cub cadet. Okay, but hey, you know, it does a job. And honestly, I get so tired of hearing people say, oh, uh, this guy got a free mower. That guy got a free mower. Who cares? Who cares? Okay. I, I got a free mower, you know, but it's used. If you can get a free mower, get it. You know, that's the way I'm looking at it. I'm, I'm just so tired of hearing this, you know. Look, I don't have the best equipment by far means. But I'm happy with what I got. I didn't know if I was going to take this one, this tractor. Because I'm saying to myself, where am I going to put it? Yeah, I don't have no room. Well, my buddy that lives here he says, put it in my garage. I don't care. I even have his shed. He says, I don't use it. Take it. That's, I mean, helping people out. I try to help out people as much as I can. And it's good to know that you have friends you know customers and he's not only a customer like i said before we became friends but he helped me out and i yeah i do uh some free stuff for him i why why not because he's let me use his garage and his shed so why not once in a while I'll throw in a free cut it's like paying rent to me 
it's all helping out people. To me, money is not everything. I remember when I was in my teens, and I'll throw up a picture. That was me with the high tops. That was my dad in the picture also. That was my very, very first tractor. Now, I started cutting lawns when I was uh, 12. I had at least seven customers. I would cut grass, even though I hated it, but I wanted money, you know, because nobody would hire me at 12. So I, I had my own little, like, gig, and it was fun. But back then, I even had, I even bought a push mower. Now, I'm talking about the old style push mower. You know, it was just a orange shell, okay, with a motor. That's it. And the handlebars, they, they're not like, like it today, but they're like this. They, they came out like that, like some kind of bike or something. I don't know. I think it was homemade. I paid 75 bucks or 70 bucks for it. And I tell you what, I mowed, I mowed all these lawns, yeah. And when I was a kid, I had money, so it was it was fun. I want to close this one out. If you like my content, subscribe to me, uh, put a like, and I will see you on the next one. I'm out.